First bucket for George. Alvarado inside to Larry Nance. He to a high flyer, leaves it up and in for his first basket. Rebounding has not been one of them. They are a top seven team overall rebounding, top five in defensive rebounding. And you can thank Evita Zubats for that. Fourth turnover here for the Pelicans. Don't turn it over, you get high quality shots like we saw last possession. Mir Coffey guarding Nance, who is able to float it in, cuts the lead down to five. 27 18, Clippers out in front. Alvarado zigs and zags his way down the lane. No, but there is Nance showing off that athleticism with the ferocious follow for New Orleans. 27 18, Clippers out in front. Alvarado zigs and zags his way down the lane. No, but there is Nance showing off that athleticism with the ferocious follow for New Orleans. Giving up about uh, what well, the Clippers gave up on 27 28 points in the first quarter. You just defer back to what you know best, which is our basketball. Nance mid range offline. A running rebound for Luke Kennard. George. Goes up top side to Terrence Mann for three. It is short. Pelicans have hit half of their threes in the quarter. They are five of ten from distance. 135 to play here in the first half. George into the paint. 135 to play here in the first half. George into the paint. Nance with the rebound. Tries to bat it ahead to Najee Marshall. Jackson flares out on the screen. Two-man game with... Man tries to take Zion off the dribble, wrapped up by Larry Nance. Wow, what a defensive play with a minute to play in this first half. McCullum. And he gives the Pelicans the lead. You want to have some kind of consistency, but early in the season, that's what Clippers have to deal with. It is a long season, and yep. I think we all need to remember that. As Batum in the corner for three. It's going to be a process. Yep. I, I really don't think you're going to see the true brand of this Clipper basketball until the new year, maybe shortly uh -huh. later. I mean, it's just going to take a while for it. Lucky to recover. Wall goes off the handle, plays up top side to Batum, six to shoot. Jackson going to want to in Donna Kate, fires a late shot clock three. At the beginning of this half, hence the offense kind of trail behind that as well. It's an 18-point turnaround. After the Clippers led by as many as 11, they trail 73-65. Get this final frame underway. Clippers with some work to do. Williamson, he's been tough. A tough contested shot there in 26 minutes. Like one thing he hasn't lost is his ability to get back up quickly after a shot. He was in between two Clippers defenders, but then he bounced right back up. And uh, a couple of games, they were a tough, tough team in that second half of last year. Powell looks inside to Zoo. Tough shot. Nance with the rebound. Williamson tries to get around Kennard. Now they work it back out to Marshall for the three. Graham requesting the screen for Marshall. Instead lobs it to Nance. Backing down on Powell. Turns the corner. Lowers the shoulder. Graham requesting the screen for Marshall. Instead lobs it to Nance. Backing down on Powell. Turns the corner, lowers the shoulder. McCullum swings it to Marshall. Three to shoot. Nance, mid-range jumper is good. Along with Terrence Mann out there to close this final four minutes out. Yep. On a disappointing afternoon. Brandon Boston got off to a good start. First contested three. The rebound poked around. Ahead to Nance. And <laughs> the rest of the series that we will play against the Pelicans, but this is a this is a really a, a great roster, great talent, and as we learned last year, great coaching on the sideline as well. And he had time in Golden State, time on the bench yep. with the Phoenix Suns, so he knows what success looks like. And I think everybody would agree in the NBA that today, and it's kind of how you kind of put the team together in regards to the complementary pieces around Brandon Ingram. C.J. McCollum and also Zion Williamson, and that's why they play the way they do.